Hello, it's nice to see you again. I promise I wear other clothes. It just happened that today I'm wearing the same thing. I, it's, don't worry, this is, it's fine. I wear other clothes. This video is going to come in two parts. The first part is a response to your video from last week, Dear Bug, which was about beagles and corgis and bulldogs. And if you're just tuning in, you should probably watch that because otherwise you'll think I'm a freaking furry if you watch this video. I promise I'm not. The second part is going to be a new topic that you, Dear Bug, can respond to because I've been making all the responses and I want you to make one now. Let's get to it. So I am an English foxhound. I don't know if you know what they look like, but English foxhounds look a lot like beagles. I'll put a picture somewhere or something. Although they look a lot like beagles, they are in fact not beagles. So that relates to me because I dress very feminine most of the time, obviously not right now, but most of the time I present very feminine. So people, or dogs, I guess, uh, beagles and bulldogs alike, they look at me and there's not a single doubt in their mind that I am a beagle. So for you, as a corgi, the bulldogs feel like you're something else, which is great. And I mean, obviously the bulldogs feel like I'm something else as well. But for me, I know that bulldogs are always thinking that I'm a beagle and that there's not a single doubt in their mind. Just hanging out with any sort of cis straight people is just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of sad for me just because I know they don't even, there's not, there's not a doubt in their mind. Also, I feel like bulldogs kind of assume certain things from me because they think I'm a beagle, but with a lot of beagles, I mean, it obviously just depends on what beagles you're hanging out with, but um, they don't seem to assume those things of me. So that kind of is helpful to me. I guess, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I, anyway, let's just, let's go on to the next topic. Okay, so this is part two. I'm going to talk about Steven Universe and <laughs> Um, bettering yourself, which is an, an interesting topic, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go and I'm I'm gonna do it. So, my whole life up until like last summer, like the end of last summer, um, I always thought I was like Rose Quartz. I thought I was a healer. I thought I was positive and soft and kind and the sort of person that anyone could come to and anyone could open up to and I would be able to help with whatever they wanted, which is so cool and I love being that and I that's why I want to be a therapist because I, I love being in that role. But at the end of the last summer, I realized that you can't just be that. I had a lot of issues with that. I wasn't able to stand up for myself. I was basically spineless. Um, I had a lot of issues with setting boundaries and I ended up getting hurt a lot. And so I wanted to change that. I wanted to be someone different. Garnet is an impossible <laughs> act to follow, I guess. Anyone can aspire to be like Garnet, but no one will be like Garnet because she's basically flawless. <laughs> But I think it's important if you want to better yourself to aspire to something that, you know, you might not be able to attain ever. Like that's okay to do that. Just as long as you aren't like, why am I not this way? Oh my God, I hate this. Um, just as long as you're not like that, just to make sure you're just striving to be the best person that you can. So Garnet is kind of gentle but she also doesn't take any bullshit. Like she is a-okay with saying no and she is strong and independent and just wonderful. And that's why I aspire to be like Garnet. But here's the thing, not everyone needs to be Garnet because like Steven and Amethyst and Pearl and Greg, they are all wonderful characters, but they're not like Garnet. Not at all. 
I mean, they have some similar qualities, like they're all really kind, but they show it in different ways, and that's really cool. And you need to have diverse characters. Like, it would be okay to aspire to be, like, Pearl, let's say, because she is flawed. Yeah, of course she's flawed, but that that's an okay thing because she's still wonderful the way that she is, you know? Like, she is very smart and very organized and very loyal. She just wants the best for Steven. And she's a wonderful mother. She's a wonderful bird mom. And that's something that anyone should aspire to be like. And you could also want to be like, like Amethyst because she is fun and she is funny and she is rambunctious and a rebel and she is she's emotional which is a wonderful thing to be she's so emotional and that's really cool and i don't think any of those characters should aspire to be like garnet like that's you shouldn't want to be someone that you're not you know so what i'm saying dear bug is that you should be whoever you want to be but make sure that's true to who you are. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Dear Bug, I hope you liked it and I love you so much and I hope I will see you soon. Okay, Mwah. goodbye.